everyone and welcome back to our Asian Forest Zoo where we are here looking at our beautiful tigers. Look at them, look at her. Is she not the most gorgeous thing ever? I have no idea why she's a little bit laggy, but she is the most gorgeous creature ever. And this is Nala, one of our tigers. Oh, and she needs some enrichment. Nala, I can give you some enrichment. Let's give you lots of beef shanks. There you go. And let's put down a couple little bones. I always like arranging like the little beef shanks and the bones next to each other because then it looks like it's kind of like a kill that they've made and they've got the food right there which is so much fun but we've got those all arranged up but I wanted to start with Nala today because she is expecting if I remember correctly or she was did she already have the babies she already had the babies how did I miss this how did I miss that we have tiger cubs where are they hiding I want to see them are they in here <gasps> there's a little tiger cub hiding in this bush you guys oh my gosh this is like the best thing. Oh, and Red Panda 6 is now pregnant. Hello, baby. Oh, and Clouded Leopard 2 is pregnant again. Hello, you. Do you want to come out and say hi? What you doing? Are you are you huffing for your mom? I think it's huffing for its mom. Oh, Nala, is that you? I think Nala's over here. Oh, what's this? Who's watching the baby? What is going on right here? This is fascinating. All right, I kind of need to move this bush a little bit. Are you sleeping? Is somebody sleeping right here? That's Nala. She is sleeping in the shade. All right, and we have Bengal Tiger 10 going to play with the car tire. Okay, so it's moving around. And then we have 11. What are you doing? Being groomed by Kala. Really? So it's being groomed by its sibling. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. So we have Kala and we have Nala the second because I was actually coming in thinking, oh, Nala's pregnant. We need to remove her previous, um, oh, Red Panda 6 just died of old age. I thought it was pregnant. Oh, dang it. But oh my gosh, look, they're playing with the little bone. Man, I love tigers. I just cannot get enough of tigers. Look at them. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing. Oh, and Clouded Leopard 1 just died of old age. What is this? Everybody is getting pregnant and then dying of old age. This is ridiculous. Nala just brought like this little bone over here and put it in front of her baby. Apparently, this one's being groomed by Kala. Oh, and look, now the baby's looking at the bone. So that is awesome. So we have a little boy who I guess we can name Denali the second. Or, let's see. Actually, let's name him. Um, let's name him Jala. There we go. And then we've got a little girl. So normally, yeah, we've got another little girl. So we can name her uh, Lala. Let's just go with Lala. Just keep it simple. Oh, and she's swimming. Look at her go. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, well, I'm getting easily distracted by the tigers because I love big cats and they're amazing. Oh my gosh, and the beef shanks are slowly disappearing. Oh, one got moved in front of the, the house. They're little, they're little, um, large rock cave over here okay so the tigers are easily distracting me with their awesomeness but we need to get back to taking care of the zoo so let's check and make sure that all of the animals are happy oh the black stork that's inside of a crate is probably not happy so we will check to see that all of our animals are in good health and they're pretty happy we'll make sure that we've got the exhibits stocked pretty well with males and females of species all right the greater mouse deer um, is the greater mouse deer? Yeah, they're in this little exhibit next to the elephants. Is coming over to graze from its pile. So the mandarin ducks are doing A-OK. -okay. The mandarin ducks are happy. We've got the a Oh, one Asian elephant is really unhappy. Carrying the enrichment log. Let's move you over here. Going to bash fence. No, sweetie. No, please don't come bash the fence. How can I make you happy? Oh, dear. We have an, like, emergency going to eat branches from the browse holder all right so as i thought we do indeed have a bit of an emergency we're going to name this sweet little one bubbles because that was one of the names that were suggest that was suggested in the last video for names that we could use for these beautiful asian elephants smaller than their african elephant cousins very important in making corridors through the jungles that you'll find throughout asia and apparently very unhappy right now i don't want you to be unhappy sweetheart i want you to be able to come in here and embrace life and and be be content there's a little log did you get stuck i think she got stuck somewhere are you gonna get a little drink are you gonna get a little drink over here? Yeah. Yeah, there she goes. All right, so I think Bubbles is gonna be okay, but we're gonna keep an eye on Bubbles 
because that is terrible. Oh, she's really needing some enrichment. Let's put some durians down. Some emergency durians for bubbles, you guys. And durians are these giant, really, really stinky fruits. I wonder if she's gonna want a durian. Maybe she wants to play with the log. All right, all right. Bubbles, Bubbles, did you get enough to drink? Are you okay, Bubbles? Can I get you something else? She's still super thirsty. Going to drink. Okay, there she goes. She's getting a good drink. I wonder if the other elephants will notice that she's like, oh, the durians are being, being approached. There we go, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, that is so cool. Our elephants at this zoo are enjoying the durians. This is what I mean by wanting to like make a Twitter just for like our Zoo Tycoon 2 stuff and, and being able to be like, yeah, look at all this. Oh, this is so adorable. All right, Bubbles is hopefully happier. I hope she, her, she has like a companion nearby who will notice that Bubbles is kind of having a rough time right now and needs some emotional support from the other elephants. She is looking at the enrichment log. Now she's just kind of standing around Okay, now she's pooping. All right, I think Bubbles is recovering pretty well. So we'll leave her be for just a bit. And let's go down the list and continue checking for any other animal emergencies. Like here! Going to mate with Asian Elephant 7. Oh my. Well, I think that's going to get his enrichment. Oh my goodness, I think... Oh, there's some mating going on! Oh my gosh, so we are gonna have some enrichment coming from here, I would hope. But it looks like our male elephant is mating with the female. He's very distracted. I think that's why his social need is so low, is because he's distracted trying to run around finding mates. And are we pregnant? Not pregnant from this. So the elephant was not expecting. He's trumpeting at her though, and that has taken care of some of his needs. So he should be all right. He's just distracted because he's trying to make babies. So that's that's your own fault, my friend. All right, so he's, he's being taken care of. Bubbles is walking around. Uh, let's take her over. Maybe she'll enjoy this little enrichment area. There's lots to play with over here. There's a peanut dispenser. There's all sorts of little balls. There's little like painting easels to work on. We really, like I care about all the little animals. You know, you gotta stop by and make sure they're all okay and happy. Let's see what else we have going on though. Uh, ooh, Clouded Leopard 2 is pregnant. Oh, that's so exciting. Now Clouded Leopard 6, I think is one of her siblings, her daughter. And Clouded Leopard 6 is actually ready to be released into the wild because it would like to find a mate. Clouded leopards are an endangered species. Last I checked, I hope they're still around. Whoops, open up our zoo encyclopedia for no good reason. So hopefully by releasing them, we will be able to work on our zoo fame. As you guys know, it's really important to do some of the zoo fame things if you wanna get some special items. Where are my items? I always forget where to find my little challenges and items and I do have to work on a challenge right now We'll work on that in a little bit. Where the heck a doodle? Here it is. All right So what we're trying to work on and what I consider kind of like the The cherry on top of finishing a zoo is not only having it be five stars But working very hard so you can try to get the scholars achievement and then get the headset kiosk for educational Exhibits. So we need to make lots of educational donations. We need to get lots of educational kiosks set up absolutely everywhere and that'll hopefully help there. But there's also like the Endangered Babies Award. We're very close on that. I think we need to breed maybe two more species of endangered or critically endangered animals to get the Endangered Babies statue. And then there's also releasing 10 different species of endangered or critically endangered animals to receive the wild to the wild to receive the decorative zoo wall caps, which I have no idea what that would be, but it sounds kind of cool. And then adopt 20 species in order to receive the wall columns. So that, that sounds pretty interesting. So let's see if by releasing this one to the wild, this clouded leopard to the wild, we're going to increase this right here. So, all right. Where is she? Because she was requesting a mate. And we don't have one. She just has like a brother in here. So let's go ahead and we're going to release this one to the wild. And there's Clouded Leopard 2. We're going to go to Clouded Leopard 5 over here, who is a male. And we're going to release him to the wild too. So we don't have any inbreeding. And that should take care of our Clouded Leopards. So they should be happy over here. And then I feel like... We've got lots of educator podiums. 
In fact, some that aren't even being used. <laughs> and I feel like we should have some more educational keys. Now that I know that there's, it's kind of glitchy because people don't stop at the kiosks anymore. So you don't see them like physically stop and look at the kiosks, but they still are looking at them and in the sense that like they'll walk by and that will count towards the educational exhibits uh, boost. So let's see if we can find where the heck a doodle those kiosks are located. Oh, it's so pretty here. I just love how gorgeous it is. All right. We have, oh, there's a little spectacled bear statue. I want to put a little bear statue in, just because we can. Boom! Bear statue. Take that. Just just right over here. I don't know why we put the bear statue down, but we're just going to enjoy a good old bear statue. Let's see. And what else can I put down here? Well, what I really need... Oh, I'm probably looking... Oh, there were, oh and the clouded leopard has just given birth. All right. Let's go check on this. Oh, my goodness. All right. So let's dive in and check on Miss Mama here. Hello, ma'am. Did you just have your babies? <gasps> There's her little babies. They still don't have the proper texture, but they sure look adorable. I mean, just look at them. That's beautiful. They're supposed to have a texture on them. They don't. It's kind of glitchy sometimes. We'll have to live with it. Let's clean up that poop. And so we have two new babies. So let's see if they're male or female. We have one little girl who's play fighting with its sibling. Oh, that's so cute. And then we have a little boy. So we have a little girl and a little boy again. So we'll probably keep one of them and adopt a clouded leopard in the future. So let's check our zoo fame really quickly. Do, do, do. I think that counted. I'm pretty sure that moved forward a little bit. So that's pretty exciting. All right, back to the educational kiosks really quickly. And then we're going to finish checking all of the animals and then start going through the list to see what we can start adding. Let's see, where's my kiosk? There it is. Here it is, the educational kiosk. I demand that everyone walks by these and becomes educated. Let's see. Oh, he's he's been educated. See, so he has a little educational thing go up. Oh, he has a Sumatran striped rabbit jumping toy. So cool. And he's been watching the educator, so he's feeling that that is very educational. Good. So we just need to kind of like start putting these down absolutely all over the place. And as time goes on, like we have one right there. But as time goes on, the more people that walk past these, the more educated they will become. And let's see, can she get around that? Maybe. I think I may have put it at a funky angle for her. All right, yeah, that's okay. She got around it. Oh, is she looking at it? Oh, I hope she was looking at it. That would have been so cool. All right, so there we go. And why is there a raccoon that we can't reach? Okay, this is this is interesting. This is why we need to finish checking our zoo really quickly because we have raccoons in crates in random places. So, all right, let's resume checking on everybody. The Sumatran striped rabbits appear to be having some issues with escaping. They shouldn't be escaping. That is, that's not a good thing. So I wonder how they're getting out. We're going to have to keep an eye on them. Make sure that they don't continue getting out. It looks like Sumatran striped rabbit 26. Oh, how did you get all the way over here, huh? How are you guys getting all the way out of your exhibit and way over into the middle of nowhere, huh? But it looks like our Sumatran striped rabbits uh, want to mate. Some of them at least. So 26 wants to find a mate and can't. So let's go ahead and release her to the wild. And maybe that'll help us because those are a critically endangered species as well. So Sumatran striped rabbit problem. Slightly being taken care of. Good. How's Bubbles doing? Okay, so she got her social need filled. And she's doing okay. She's eating some hay. She's not really feeling that entertained. I'll put down some more durians, emergency durians for bubbles to see if that'll help her out. Uh, clouded leopards are doing all right. They could probably, I'm going to put in a couple bones just in case that'll help them. A couple beef shanks. Oh, look at the little kitten. Oh, so cute. And then let's see. Oh, the orangutans. We've got a lot of pregnancies over in the orangutans. So they've got a lot of babies on the way. I do want to redo their exhibit pretty soon too. Oh my gosh, there's so many babies on the way. My goodness. Do I see somebody? No, I guess everybody's... Oh, 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 oh. We've got some dirty orangutans. We're going to have to go in there and check that out. And we have several giant panda babies. Red pandas are doing not so well. What's going on over here, guys? All right, we've got a little bit of grooming action going on. But who's hungry? Do we have too many red pandas? Are we are we not able to have enough nest boxes? I think we may have too many red pandas, you guys. That might be a problem. 
because I don't know if we have enough elevated nest boxes for everybody to use. So let's try putting one back here. And because we've only got like the one up at the top. And then they do have these big hollow tree shelters, but I don't think they use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. And then I'll put another nest box up there. And we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And another nest box. Oh, are those little mushrooms? They're little adorable mushrooms. I'm so proud that I, I like put, no, now I wish I didn't put those there. <laughs> Dang it, now I have to like get the ground cover out and fix that. But I really love adorable little mushrooms. So, so you, nope, eucalyptus forest is not it. Lush evergreen, nope, not it. Um, Cause I like to use, not tropical. Was it dry tropical forest, temperate rainforest? Um, um, tropical rainforest. Um, I like the moss. I like the moss. I can't remember where my beautiful montane. Oh, thank goodness. My beautiful montane moss that I like using. There we go. Because it looks so good. Let's see. Are there any little plants I can put down for you guys? Trying to just decorate the area a little bit more. All right. Let's see. Hopefully additional next box nest boxes will solve the problems that we're having in there for, for our little for our little red pandas. They can be happy red pandas. Let's just put some more lady ferns down. There we go. Is that gonna be better? Are there enough nest boxes for everybody now? We'll have to see. There's quite a few red pandas. We really might have to adopt some of them out. I can hear the orangutans going, whoo. That's kind of interesting. All right, we'll check on the orangutans. All right, Red Panda 20. Didn't even make it to the next box. Okay, I think once Red Panda 20 gets a little bit of a nap and then gets something to eat, then challenging up, oh, nope, I don't think they're gonna be happy. Let's go ahead and adopt out Red Panda 20 and Red Panda 21 because I think that some of the males were challenging each other. We've still got Bilberry. We have a lot of pregnant Red Pandas, so I think the proper thing to do would probably be to release some of the, the younger females are you eligible for release? You're a baby. Okay, maybe release one of the younger males. Are you a baby? No, you're not a baby. So we'll release you and we'll release you and we'll release you. There we go. So hopefully that'll help out wild populations. Oof, we'll get away from the noisy, noisy, noisy helicopters. Hopefully that'll help out the wild populations and ease up life here. Asian elephant one is now pregnant. Yay! We need more names for the Asian elephants, by the way, because we're going to have so many of them. And we've already used the name Dumbo for the African elephants in previous episodes. So that's why I didn't put the name Dumbo in. Now this island raccoon is having a little bit of issues. Oh, I see. Okay, so this raccoon, this female, is being challenged by the other female. So we're going to adopt out this raccoon. And let's go ahead and we are going to try to find... Hopefully this man, is he mad? Is he like, Kazuma Island Raccoon 14 uh, is scratching at this scratching post. So we adopted out the one that was being chased around. I guess they're a little bit, a little bit defensive. There's a scratching post. Where's the... the Island Raccoon. She's in the scratching post. She has scratched the scratching post so hard that she's literally inside of it and I can't seem to get her. Okay, well that's fine, dear. You can just stay inside of there. I'm going to try to get you a mate. So let's see if we can find her a male. If I can find Icelandic Forest. No, that's not quite... I don't think this is the kind of like date that she wants. I'm pretty sure that's not the kind of date we want to bring home to her. So let's see, let's try, where would you be hiding? I don't know. Are you endangered? We might just have to go from all. And this will actually be a good chance to kind of glance at everything that we have available for being able to put over here. Um, oh, like the cichlid or the Oscar fish and cichlids. I know we have cichlids somewhere. Those would be really nice. Maybe some Asian arowana. That would be really nice. We could get some tanks set up. Um, oh man, this cute little guy. Look at you. What even are you? That would be cute. Add him in. Maybe the Himalayan's baboon, but that's more, that could probably go in the savannah and safari zone, ironically enough. The Eurasian brown bear. Do we have, yeah, we have the sloth bear, you guys. We could put a sloth bear in. That would be amazing. We have so many things to pick from. That's one of the reasons we have multiple zoos and we visit the multiple zoos because we just have so much stuff. Look at this red-tailed catfish. Oh my gosh. 
Ah, oh, this is just gonna be so awesome because there's just so many to pick from. The chain cat shark. I don't even know about that guy. And the coelacanth. Oh, we need to put a little coelacanth exhibit. And you know, the chicken was originally native to uh, Asia, descended from Pfeil from Asia. So I'm tempted to add in chickens. I love chickens though. But anyway, let's continue looking for this island raccoon. Um, it should have one of like these little markers. Oh, maybe a spotted couscous. But we might save that for actually we have an island zone that we have worked on before that actually has some Australian animals. So I know many of you would be very excited to see, woo, the island zone. So we'll be checking that out in the future. Um, there's a Dasinga. Here's a whole bunch of, oh, here's the ground dove. That would probably be for island zone as well though. So... Let's see. Oh, now this guy would be interesting. Oh, some flamingos. Yeah, I don't have flamingos in. How do I not have flamingos in the safari and savanna zone? We might just throw some flamingos in here just because we can. Because I totally forgot about flamingos. There's the island fox. Where is our little raccoon? There's a ground roller. I really want... Oh, there's a hornbill. Oh, yeah, an aviary is probably going to happen because that was one of the things you guys requested last time for things that we'll work on in the future. And I think an aviary. Oh, there's the Borneo clouded leopard. I think that would probably go in here. We'll put probably the Borneo clouded leopard. We'll build an aviary. Where the heck is my raccoon? <laughs> I know it's in here. Did I just like pass it up somewhere? I know there's supposed to be a raccoon in here. There's the Sumatran strike. There it is! Woo! We found it, you guys! All right, so we're gonna get our female raccoon, a handsome male, and he's just gonna show up here, and he's gonna be like, hey, I think you look pretty attractive. Here's some figs. He, he'll bring some figs to the table. So hopefully she'll, uh, she'll be content with that. So let's see how they interact. What do you think? I'm gonna actually name him Fig, just so you know. So this is Fig. The raccoon. Oh, he's already going to mate with her immediately. <laughs> that took no time at all. So that's Fig, and I'm going to name her... Uh, let's name her Durian. No, let's not, because I was looking at the Durian. Um, let's just go ahead... Oh, she's so cute. Let's name her... Uh, Cassie. Like that. And I think I heard somebody taking a picture. Are you taking- Oh, he's like- he looks like Pop Ross. That's so cool. Now I- now I know what he looks like. Alright, so they just are mated. So they're mates now. Oh, now she's growling at him. She's like, okay, you served your purpose. Or didn't. So she's not pregnant, but they are mates. And these people are happy to be observing them. So that's pretty awesome. Look at this. This area smells terrible. Oh no, I have like a, a stinky area somewhere? Do I need more- do I not have enough maintenance staff? Get to it, maintenance staff. If I throw you down here, where do you go? She's like, I'm assessing this gigantic zoo first. All right, so let's see any of the other animals. We're just kind of doing an animal check today, I suppose. <gasps> the orangutan is giving birth. Oh, let's go watch. Oh my goodness, we might have too many orangutans too. So we might work on giving the orangutans a little bit more area. Oh, which one was I watching? Where is she? Orangutan 17 is going to give birth over here. She just gave birth. She just gave birth. Oh, look at her little baby. How many babies? Is that a baby? No, that's just one random orangutan. Is this mom? Oh, look at the grooming behavior. That is so cool. And there's the baby. The baby's like, excuse you, mom. Are you going to pay attention to me? Oh, that's so cool. Panther Chameleon 8 is now pregnant too. Jeez, we've got a lot going on in here. All right, well, let's go ahead. Make, gotta make sure the rest of our animals are okay. I've said that so many times and we keep getting distracted. All right, so the orangutans are doing okay. The pandas are doing okay. The red pandas are going to give birth pretty soon. Fig is settling in. He's marking his territory, apparently. Black storks are fine. The oriental stork, are you doing okay? Is off to eat the fish, so that should be fine. The tigers are fine too. Wow, that's all of them? We don't have as many creatures in this zoo as the Savannah Zoo, so that was a lot easier to survey all of the creatures and make sure that they're happy than I thought it would be. So that made me really happy. All right. Well, that would be all of the critters that we've got. Looks like this kid is checking out the Sumatran striped rabbits. So I guess what we can work on next is just figuring out what we're going to add in. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. Like what we want to add in next to our zoo. And I'm pretty excited 
even just like, man, even just like a small bird aviary would be really cool, I think. We already have the Bengal tiger, which is amazing. Um, here's the toucans. We should have a lot of those guys. Oh man, now there's so many beautiful birds. Oh my gosh, there's a wild turkey. Oh, that's perfect for Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, we'll have to go back to the uh, normal forest zone where we have like, well, I say normal forest. I should say like North American forest zone. We do have that, it's temperate forest and we can visit that. The Chinese soft shelled turtle. You know what? I love that Chinese soft shelled turtle. I really, really, really do. I want to build a tiny little, oh, an Asian elephant seven is now pregnant. I want to build a tiny little exhibit for the Chinese soft-shelled turtle. Um, just a tiny little exhibit. Somewhere maybe over here. Because we could do so much with this area to try to attract more people over to it. Right now, nobody's coming over here. So what about if we do like a big grove of bamboo down this side to kind of break apart. Let's see. Break apart the walls over there maybe ooh, let's do let's do this let's mix in some of these trees and we'll put them kind of down here to sort of separate this exhibit the big steppy exhibit from i should rotate these trees around a little bit from where we're going to put some new exhibits and then let's go ahead we'll grab some of these trees the beautiful cherry blossom trees there we go See, plants solve everything for being able just to like separate the different areas. There we go. Yay! Already that looks great. They create a natural barrier and we can even sprinkle in a few little clusters of tiny ginkgo trees. And by the way, ginkgo biola, oh man, I love these trees. They're one of my favorite trees and they're one of the oldest trees around too. They're very fascinating to research. And there's this beautiful picture floating around that you probably have seen recently since it has gone a bit viral of a ginkgo biola that's apparently like extremely old, like over a thousand or something like that, that has gone and dropped all of its leaves for autumn and it just looks gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna make our little, okay, ooh, ooh, we're gonna make an educational spot that people are gonna have to walk down first, right over here, and then I guess we could even have like, there's nowhere to eat over here, so I mean, it's quite the distance. Ooh, who just got pregnant? Cassie just got pregnant, yay! So there's nowhere to really eat over here, so should we do a restaurant? Or a, a like a dessert stand, maybe another restaurant, or maybe a, maybe we'll do like a little food court area. We'll do like a little food court area. There's a staff center. We could put a gift cart over here. Maybe another island gift cart, since we're next to the Konzuma Island raccoons. And let's see. Now I need. Is this the jungle path we're using? It is. Huzzah! All right. So we're gonna need this jungle path, and we'll come down here like so. And then you can walk along here, I think. Yeah, we'll make it so you can kind of walk along here. And the soft shell turtle exhibit will be, let's see, three. I think the soft shell turtle exhibit will be like right here, maybe? Just so you can see it on either side. Huh. This is where kind of like the bigger exhibit planning meets the fun of just sort of throwing things down and then working with it in the future and seeing seeing how it changes in the future. So let's go ahead and the Chinese soft shell turtle. Ah, uh, can I do like, man, making the aquarium exhibits that come out of the water are a little bit tricky. Let's see if I can do it or not. I, probably not. I can already hear a couple people like laughing in my head. I'm like, you really think you can do that, Siri? Nope. Oh dear. And we're gonna have to redo, you know what? We might redo the Sumatran Striped Rabbit exhibit too at some point in the future so that hopefully it's easier to deal with. All right, but let's see how quickly we can potentially do this. I'm not good with these kinds of like half and half hybrid exhibits whatsoever, but I, I have dreams. <laughs> I have dreams of being good at it. Maybe I'll just do this. No, I don't want to destroy it. No. I just want the I just want the aquarium. I don't want the, the little road. Okay, let's see. There we go. All right, let's try this, and maybe this, like so, and replace this. 
like so. All right, like that. And then like this. And then grab it. Come here, you. Grab it and do this. I hope this will work. And then like grab this very specific part right here. <gasps> I might be able to do this. I will be so ecstatic if I can actually do this. <laughs> this would be so cool. Okay, so let's try to change this up a little bit. Um, where's my ground tools? There we go. And we're gonna try just to make a tiny little Chinese soft shell turtle exhibit uh, for like one Chinese soft shell turtle at a time. And just see how that goes. Can we kind of like even it out so that we can see it swim just a little bit right there? And then flatten the terrain right here. Oh, I can flatten it right up against there. Yes. Yes. Except not over here. This is this is too much, too much flatten. Too much flatten right there. <gasps> ooh, ooh, we just might pull this off. Oh, that'd be so cool. Alright, and then we would want it to kind of come down. Down here. Whoops. Nope, I didn't want flatten. I wanted soften. And then soften it on this side but still make it so the little guy could climb up if he wanted. And people have a little slope as a result right there. We're gonna ignore the fact that there's like water peeking through in some spots. You guys, I just might throw this together pretty quickly. This would be so like exciting. All right. And I like the funky shape of it too. All right, so let's go ahead. Does it need to be kind of tall to match? Can you connect? Can you guys connect? Oh, you can connect, sweet. All right, so we can make it kind of tall to kind of match up and then maybe come down a little bit. Are we at two? This would be a two right there. And then do we have like the wood wall? There we go. Sweet. So then we have the little wood wall that we can put up along the back here. Like so. There we go. And then I think we'll even do it so that people can like walk up and see them on this side. So where's the two again? Right here. So you know, this will work. I don't think, whoops. I don't think we even really need the three over here. We can probably just replace all of it with the two. Yay, this might work and it might just be a terrible, horrible mess. It could definitely be a lot more elegant. That's for sure. All right, definitely could look a lot better, but let's do this really quickly. I have spent more time than usual poking at things. Oh, he's so tiny! <laughs> he's just so small! Look at him! Now this exhibit is like almost way too big for him. He's just so teensy. I was thinking more like, you know, something this size. No, he's just the tiniest little itty bittiest thing. He doesn't need this giant exhibit. This is, this is actually seriously too much for him. I need to, I need to redo this. I need to shrink it quite a bit. This is this is way too much. This is it's just it's too much for the little guy. He's going to be overwhelmed. He's just going to be totally overwhelmed. So I'm going to shrink this exhibit down significantly cuz I don't want to overwhelm the tiny thing. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try this again. Probably uh, see now I feel like I made it too small. But no, it's just it's just so he's just so tiny. He's just the tiniest and most adorable little thing. All right, this should make me a little happier. There we go. All right, there we go. And now it's not like a nasty square. Squares are boring. There we go. And let's hurry and get this all set up. So what does he need? My adorable, beautiful friend. He could have a little wetlands rock formation. Uh, he has a turtle log that goes in on the water that he can climb on. Oh, we're giving him some turtle logs, hopefully. He'll use one of these at least. Oh my gosh. And then let's see all of these plants. Absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see an animal shelter, a swamp island. We could just, we could just, you know what? You know what? We're gonna get, I know, I know I did all that work, but if he can just like climb up on the swamp islands, we're just gonna totally convert this so that people can just walk around it and like look at him and enjoy him that way. Because if we don't have to worry so much about being able to specifically uh, have land for him to crawl out on, then we're just gonna give him a little turtle island and we can have this tiny little turtle exhibit. All right, so let's see. I, I, I you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finish finiddling, finiddling? I guess that's a word now. 
fiddling with this and kind of tweaking all of the splashy evil water things that sometimes crash stuff. And then when we come back, I will show you our Chinese soft shell turtle exhibit. And we need to start working, I think, on that. Uh, after that on an aviary and I think we'll start putting the aviary kind of down here a nice big enclosed aviary that will have lots of the different birds and you can walk through it and hopefully people will enjoy it so I will see you guys next time bye bye